A new decision by a state commission could spell the end of battle reenactments at certain Pennsylvania historical sites, including one in Westmoreland County. Russ Gadotti has more on this, including input from state leaders and the local Native American community. Depending on who you ask, these new guidelines from the state are either eliminating history for the sake of political correctness or allowing Native Americans to play the roles their relatives did long ago. You are in the wilds of Westmoreland County as a detachment of British soldiers is ambushed by a group of Native Americans representing various tribes. It's part of the Battle of Bushy Run reenactment at the historic site just outside of Jeanette. They've been doing this for 40 years. They keep history alive in our area. However, based on anticipated new rules from the Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission, any combat reenactments on actual battlefields will end. The commission saying force on force displays are disrespectful to the memory of those who died in or were impacted by the conflict. The state Senator Kim Ward disagrees. This is history. We want to reenact. We want to show people. We want to educate people. It's important. It's Western Pennsylvania. It's important history. The guidelines also call for Native Americans to play the role of Native Americans who took part in the conflict, with scenes showing how Native American encampments were, as well as battle tactics with weapons demonstrations. Just no combat. What is happening here is we're bringing political correctness into history. Keep looking. Find some native reenactors, some indigenous people, some local indigenous people who actually are into the reenacting scene. Miguel Segue Jr. of the Council of Three Rivers American Indian Center says the new guidelines are appropriate. It's never good to have a bunch of people uh, representing indigenous people who are not indigenous people, especially when they're doing something in public. It's important to note that these guidelines are for commission administered sites in the state only, and they are expected to go into effect May 1st. Ross Gadotti, KDKA News.